Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I have the High Key 960 single board computer. This thing is a powerhouse. Now, before we get started, I am not comparing this to the Raspberry Pi. No, the High Key will not run RetroPie right now. There is a chance in the future it might, but this is a $239 single board computer for AOSP Android development. So this is made by Lee Maker. They make the Lee Maker guitar and a few other awesome little single board computers, but this is one of the most powerful single board computers that I've ever tested. Right now, the development is kind of sparse on it. These boards are made really for AOSP Android development, so you could build your own Android builds for this. But they do offer some pre-made images. The Hikey 960 is powered by an eight core Kirin 960 CPU. The GPU is a Mali G71 MP8, so it's an 8-core GPU, 3 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and it also has 32 gigabytes of internal UFS storage, two USB 3.0 ports, USB Type-C, OTG, HDMI, micro SD card slot, we have the DC jack, 40-pin LS connector, little power button here, I'm not sure if you can see it. The board is preloaded with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. On the back side here, we have a PCIe Gen 2 slot. Pretty cool, it's for an M.2. And we also have these dip switches to put the board in recovery mode or fast boot when you want to flash your Android image. So on paper, this board is a little bit more powerful than the S7, the Galaxy S7. But right now, the images we're provided with, or the images we can build, aren't up to par with the S7 image yet. I just want to do a comparison on size. I am not comparing the performance between the Pi and the High Key. On the right here, we have the Raspberry Pi 2. On the left is the High Key 960. Very similar form factor. When you buy the High Key, you do get this copper heatsink, but I definitely suggest upgrading. At least get a fan for it because it gets hot. On the front of the board, we have the Wi Fi and Bluetooth antennas also. I should have mentioned that earlier. So the cool thing about the High Key 960 is Lenaro and Google are working together. This is an official development board for Android. It's not some knockoff like a banana pie or anything like that. This will be supported by Google. Running Android O here, three gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. As you can see, the CPU has four cores at 1.8 and four cores at 2.3. Pretty decent specs for a tiny single board computer. So I'm really excited about this GPU. It's a Mali G71. It's an eight core GPU and it does support OpenGL ES 3.2. Now in all of these builds, the GPU driver is still buggy and it's not working correctly. So these benchmarks that I'm gonna show you aren't up to par with what this board can really do. These are very early builds and this is Android O here. So my buddy Geek Till It Hurts received one of these boards and he has some really awesome videos on this. I'm gonna leave links in the description and at the end of this video, you can click on them even if you're on mobile. But he's done a few videos on this and he completely understands Android development more than I do. So go ahead and check his stuff out. So I did run a few benchmarks on these early builds. As you can see, single core wasn't too impressive, but multi-core was way up there. We'll go to single core first and we scored a 1,426. It's kind of lacking for a single core score on a board this powerful, but these are very early builds and you have to keep that in mind. Multi-core scores are where this board shines right now at 5,456. As you can see, we're way above everything on this list here. Now the Galaxy S7 and 8 are not listed, so I'm not sure what they score, but that's an $800 phone and this is a $239 single board computer. For all of these tests, I did have a small 40 millimeter fan pointed on the heatsink. For Antutu, we scored a 90,000. I'm not impressed with this score, but like I said, the GPU driver isn't right yet. When all the bugs are worked out, I believe this can score around 120 to 140,000 in Antutu. If so, that's very impressive for a single board computer. Even now at 90,000, it's not really bad but there's some applications that just won't run because the GPU and CPU kernel are not up to par yet. Next up, 3D Mart. Now I had to sideload most of these applications, but I do have Google Play installed. It does not come pre-installed. And for some reason, a lot of these apps are incompatible. I believe it's because it's Android O right now. So I ran Slingshot Extreme and iStorm Unlimited. Very low scores for what this board is. But I'm gonna go in and do some comparisons right now. We scored a 1,293 on iStorm Extreme. 
NVIDIA Shield Android TV scored a 3971, which is way above what we scored here. And all of these phones are just beating us to death. So I'll go to filters and we'll find iStorm Unlimited. We only scored a 20,000, a little over 20,000 on here. But the Galaxy S8 with the Exynos only scores like a 33,000. That is a bit off from what we have, but it's not too bad because that's an expensive phone and it just came out. So we're doing pretty decent for a single board computer here. So within a few weeks, I'm going to do some more testing with newer builds on the Hi Key 960, and I'm sure our scores will improve dramatically. But right now, it's very early in the development cycle of this single board computer. So I always like to test JavaScript benchmarks online, and I always use SunSpider. So for SunSpider, decent score of 651, lower is better. Just to put it out there, the Raspberry Pi 3 on that same SunSpider test scores a 2800 to a 3400. I'm not comparing the two, I just want to show you how much more power this board is capable of. And it's way more expensive, so you got to keep that in mind also. The last browser-based benchmark I wanted to run was Octane. I'm going to fast forward through this and see what this baby scores. With Octane, we scored a 6,716, one of the highest scores from a single board computer that I've seen so far. So first impressions of the board, the software does need some work, but the hardware is very stout for a single board computer. I've seen videos online lately saying that this is the new Raspberry Pi 3 killer. Of course it will kill the Raspberry Pi 3. I expect it to because it's a $240 single board computer versus a $35 computer. And after you factor in all your stuff for the Pi, you get up there about 70 bucks, but still it's much cheaper. And the Pi community is way more expansive than this right now. So this does run Android and Linux. Right now the Linux isn't quite ready for it, but I'm sure it will be in the next month or so. You got to remember that this is a development board for AOSP Android development. But that doesn't mean it can't be used as a maker board. Now as soon as the software is ready, I'm going to be coming back with some more videos on this and hopefully we get some amazing scores. If you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll leave links to Lee Maker down below and 96 boards. There's a forum over there if you just want to follow development. If you already have a build that works better than this, let me know in the comments below. I would love to test it out. And like always, thanks for watching.